Where else are you going to get this kind of entertainment, my friends? This is the ufology I dreamed of. Having fun, having a good time, just letting loose. Who, who gives a crap what people think? The button, 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 the button. The button. Blowing up past enemies. He does it with his finger. Boop. Does it with his finger. Boop, 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 boop. Cubert, boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna get my box inside of a box. Look how stupid you ufologists are. You'll believe anything. The Out There channel is saying that I called him a pedophile. He's saying that all all I do is bully people. He's sending these messages. He's sending my show to Brandon. Brandon, look at Rich. Look how he attacks you. He called me a pedophile, which I never did, by the way. I never. I would never call somebody who's mentally challenged a pedophile because they wouldn't understand what they're doing. I would never do that. Yeah. Total liar this this guy is sick in the head like honest to god sick whole life people said you are so weird i'm like why am i weird you isn't this weird where are we what world is this am i even here this is so bizarre so to speak no not gonna do that to me i didn't do anything wrong i didn't do a gosh darn thing wrong not a thing. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to go into, let's see, let's see how much of a dick I really was. Let's see if I really was a dick. In rich, but that ain't cool. You can't compare Brandon Fugel to a pedophile. Yes, I can. 100% and did and will. <laughs> and I'm like, shut the fuck up. I can't handle his voice. I really don't like the guy's voice. Oh, you know why? Because all I hear is pedophile, crook, liar, pedophile, pedophile, pedophile. That's all I hear. I can't look at the guy. And I I, uh, I believe Trump is still going to be president when it's all said and done. When Bidophile becomes officially the president, we will have a very well-known pedo in the house that flies around children. Right? Isn't this the guy? He flies around children, gives them the first airplane ride of their lives, but also flies airplanes around so people can have sex in the sky. Sex parties at uh, 35,000 feet. Somehow I see those two mixing up and just, oh, I don't know. Call it uh, what you want. But that falls very close to a PEDO shit. Just file that under PEDO in the file. You know what I'm saying? I watch this guy and I get the creeps. Just the creeps. So I want to play it again. Just creepy. Now the out there channel says, I called him a pedophile. And he says, you have a link? Hey, I never said that. I See, I don't stoop that low. That's the whole thing. I don't stoop that low. I don't do that. It's bad. It's wrong. And that's one thing I think they don't give me any credit for, is that I always try to do the right thing. Even though I'm speaking my mind and you don't like the way I do it. Well, I don't like the way you do it, but I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking them. I'm just commenting about the comments. I don't say you're a freaking idiot. I, I would never call anybody a, a pedo. It's just not my style. And, and if I did, add zoom by when I'm live. I've got people upstairs, they step on my head. People downstairs, they're hitting me in there, you know. Nobody takes goof on seriously anyway. So let's make this the last show. And hang it up. Thinking about it. I am thinking about it. Fucking done. I'm so fucking done.
it's just I want to do so much right I want to do a lot and I and there's always a freaking obstacle that gets in the way you wouldn't believe what happened to me yesterday another obstacle why I'm mad I'm not I'm beyond mad I'm so beyond mad I'm actually scared fall asleep with my head on my arm and an hour later I wake up and my hands asleep you know and I'm like oh my god what jeez man man I really felt what time is it oh god for an hour I was on my arm you know and uh it happens and we all do it right uh so you know, 10 minutes goes by and I'm like, oh, sh what the hell, man? This is weird. <laughs> I, I can do this, you know, but I can't lift my wrist. I actually have a, a, a thing called dead arm. I damaged my nerve control feeling. I don't know how you guys deal with that shit every day. But you know what? Maybe it was supposed to happen to me so I can have a better understanding of what other people go through. But I don't know anybody who has panic attacks. So what good would that be? I don't make fun of people who have disabilities or health issues. That's awful. I wouldn't do that. So why do I need it? He's putting this no more stay away from third phase. They're liars. Blake's a liar. He doesn't help anybody. He just disrespectful. You know what the out there channel's gonna do when he sees this? He's right, man. That guy is right. I gotta find this guy and tell him that he's right. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bigfoot? His partner. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the show over there, by the way. If you ever listen to the Out There channel, that's the show. <laughs> Take a look at this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's so stupid. It's, it's almost like, who's that guy? Dan Rather. I'm Dan Rather. <laughs> Hmm, let me take a look at uh, Nietzsche's UFOs. You know what it is? Yeah, because somebody, somebody flagged it and told them. That's the out there channel. Because that, that's what happened. He's trying to get me shut down because he thinks that I'm responsible somehow for him getting a strike from Dr. J Live. I haven't talked about it because I can't stand the guy. Don't give a shit. And he thinks I had something to do and Third Face had something to do with it. When he was bashing, there's a difference in what I do than what he does. And he thinks he's doing the same thing I am. I stop videos. I talk about them. He plays them all the way through. He talks bad, like, talks bad about how people speak. I mean, I don't do that. I make fun of the guy's hair, how bad he dyed his hair. Or he looks like he hasn't showered. But if somebody has a speech impediment, Tyler doesn't have a speech impediment. So when I would go, hey, guy, <laughs> Tyler, that's how I hear Tyler. That's how that's how corrupt YouTube is for a lot of people who don't know. And there there will be a day where we'll have to get another channel. I'm sure of it. Makes no sense. And his partner, Bigfoot. That's a real Bigfoot, by the way. Shaved him down, taught him to speak. His friend. What is it, Rob? What's his friend's name? I think it is Rob. Bigfoot Rob? Poor guy. He doesn't want to be there. He's force-friending. The Out There channel's force-friending Big Fat Rob, Bigfoot Rob, to sit there with him in New Zealand every day. <laughs> every freaking day. And the guy just, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
and Paul will uh, from the out there channel say something, and then Big Bigfoot Rob will go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Ed McMahon. That's what they are. It's like the worst Johnny Carson experience on ufology I've ever seen. Dumber. No, no. The co-host is dumb. Paula's dumber. Doesn't say anything. He does. Oh, I see what happened. He fell asleep. They both fell asleep at the same time is what happened. Oh, my God. That's what happened. Is there more snoring? There's a lot more. Of course there is. He felt the pressure, but he thought he can come in here and outsmart everybody. You may have outsmarted a lot of people, um, but there's a lot of intelligent people in this field, way smarter than me. Absolutely. I, I am a uh, visual type of person and I listen to things and I'm a people person, you know, that I break down people and a video. All of you, look who's laughing now. Oh man, I, I don't understand people. He thought he could come into this field and get and get rich and get famous maybe. It started to work. It started to work. But, you know, $50, I mean, you know, that's really, really awesome. I, I don't know what to say. You, you're killing me with kindness. You really, <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I thought I, I was trying to pull up the screen to look you in the eye and thank you. So thank you for that, guys. $50, so $51. You know, if we could do... All I would need, if we would, if you wanted to talk about money, five hundred a week. If we could do that, I don't need. This would be the job full time. I don't expect that. That's a lot of money. I'm just saying that's we're not that far away from it. Thank you so much. Oh God, that is the people who are trying to make money doing it the wrong way trying to lie, trying to false narrative, trying to make people see shit that's not even there. And then you got, you got people sending in sightings from all over, sending videos in the third phase, basically documenting what they saw, putting their face, their reputation on the internet, on the number one UFO channel on the internet. And you're going to you know, start picking on those people. Uh, she's just a dumbass. I used to be that way. I, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't, I guess I wasn't that bad. But I only did it to people that deserved it, that were lying, that were purposely lying. I didn't just say somebody was a pig because I didn't like their video. That's what the Out There channel's doing. That's just wrong. I, I never did that. Bullshit, lying ass tears that you made this video begging for your little, I'm, I'm going to say it, pathetic followers. These are, I mean, two million losers. Seriously. It's unbelievable what I'm seeing. They don't, you know what it is? They don't know anything about you. They don't know or care. They just, well, guys, he did it. Um, Secure Team 10 did exactly what I said he would do. Hey, guys, this is Rich from Goof on Radio Stream. Yeah, that's right. One of the few legit UFO shows or channels that you can find on YouTube. Unlike Insecure Team, this guy is such a liar that I said exactly what he would do, and he did it almost by the minute. He's Tyler Glockner of Secure Team posted the other day that his channel was demonetized by YouTube for making false thumbnails. Thumbnails. You know the little pictures that show what the video is going to be about on YouTube? 
So on Twitter is where he posted it. I replied to to his posting and I said, let's see the proof. Show us the proof. I don't believe anything you say. And he actually made a video less than an hour later trying to show the, us the proof. It said uh, he showed us that the channel from YouTube was demonetized, but it didn't have. So that goes back to the thing that I've been saying for the last week. Things don't happen for a reason. They just happen. You may believe that. If that makes you feel better to believe that things happen for a reason, oh, geez, good for you. You know, that's okay. Uh, who am I? I mean, what do I know? I'm just telling you, my life, everything's statistical. Anyway, I'm going to start this now. House. And um, my mother laughs. She's, she laughs at me. You know, because I was trying to eat a hamburger and, I, and, you know, I'm like this, you know, like, you know, I have one hand like this and one normal. And she goes, <laughs> she starts laughing. I go, what the, f I go, what is so funny about this to you? I don't get it. She goes, I feel bad. And she laughs. I'm like, whatever. Look how stupid you ufologists are. You'll believe anything. It wouldn't surprise me. Look at me like you want to kill me, Miranda. It's Venus, Bill. I know, but don't look at me. You're scaring me. Open your mouth when you talk, Bill. I'm Bill Pullen, and I'm going to have to show you this. Bill, open your mouth. Miranda, stop looking at me. You're scaring me. Additionally, Mr. Giordano makes a career. I make a career out of attacking people. It's a career. It's my career. See what I mean? Boy, you're as bad as the, you're as bad as the media. I make a career of attacking people in the UFO field, but not limited to Richard Dolan, the Out There channel. Neil deGrasse Tyson, and even myself and my research partner, William Pullen, among many more. <laughs> Nobody knows who the Out There Channel is. <laughs> Why would you bring the Out There Channel in this? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Why would you bring Neil deGrasse Tyson in this? What, because I, because I don't agree with Tyson? Because I don't like him because he's a government shill. I, I'm attacking people. I love it. I love the lower educated uh, people in this field. I just love it. Yeah, you are below me. I think you are below me. How do you like that? In education wise, in the field, that's all. As a person, we're equal. But your, your, your wealth of knowledge doesn't come close I even have more wealth of knowledge of ufology than Neil deGrasse Tyson. Richard Dolan, on the other hand, probably not. During some of his attacks, he has resorted as low as making fun of the way a person speaks. Like Tyler, hey guys, that's not nice. When he has nothing valid to say about their work, mocking others in a bully type fashion as he once did to yours truly. Really? When did I attack you? Wh Alejandro says he started talking about it after he retired and read Corso's book. That's because Alejandro bought all that stuff. God, he is such a hack. See, don't be mad at me for the truth. He is. He, the guy's a hack. And quite frankly... I don't think he likes white people. He's Hispanic, but I've seen him at these UFO events, the Phoenix Lights. I've seen it with my own eyes, the way he treats people. He's an asshole. You know what? He took the fast road there. He got a lot of help from uh, the uh, European side of things, all the... Uh, I can't think. I, I'm just trying to think. 
all the tabloids out there were spreading his channel. That's why he grew so fast in a year or so. And a lot of those subscribers never go back. You know, so he does well for the channel, or did well, but he did, and he took the fast track, and what happened, it probably happened so fast, he never had that kind of money. And, you know, he realized, oh my God, I've got money, I can get bitches and hoys and other things. That's right, like drugs, which is sad. It wasn't sad, I needed them. Anyway, he's gone. But when you do the right thing and, and you know, you follow the, the guidelines of YouTube and you get consent from everybody and you don't try to take shortcuts. Yeah, you try to grow and get on that edge of like, is this real or fake? But Third Phase is now again the number one channel and I am going to boast about them. I've been watching them from year one. So, I always said they do something that nobody else does. They put quality up, and they do. And you can't argue with that, no matter what you think about them. And you're going to be wrong, because if you're saying anything negative, get over it. Now, those days are a thing of the past. And I probably won't have ads on the shows, but when you're not working and you need money <laughs> look i want this to be full time thanks pat it's 20 dollars super chat that's awesome you know i'll tell you what's really crazy i'm white privileged it's called working hard it's called getting up your up off of your ass every day going to work Marrying somebody who works and makes a lot of money too helps. All right. <laughs> a chess match like Independence Day. Hey, Frap Zap, thank you for the $1.99 thumbs up super chat. Which, that's awesome, man. I appreciate that. That's true. Goofon survives on super chats. Thank you very much. But it is super chat. Mr. DB Cooper, seven, seven, a $1.99 super chat says Uno or number one. Thank you very much, Mr. D.B. Cooper, 7-7. Seven, seven. Hi. Pretty, pretty, ah, you know the rest. So tonight, we're going to do a little bit of, oh, by the way, let me say thank you for the super chats already from Mr. D.B. Cooper, $5. Chad Benson with the $5 super chat. Thank you, guys. And also, coming in for $7.50, in Zane with the wonderful super chat. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's great. That's in Zane. What a weird life we live. It's such a. It's it's almost a, ten dollars from Chad. Bad boy. I I almost messed it up. I did. Another ten dollars super 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 chat from Chad Benson. He says. Poof. Thank you very much, guys. Chad Benson. Very generous of you guys. It all goes right in, right back in to the show. That's not even a, not even a half joke or even a partial lie. It all goes right. At X one, but I will be opening up the phone lines directly after this segment for your opinions. So stay tuned. Thank you for the twenty two dollars and twenty two cents. That is so super generoso. Uh, yeah, that's right. Don't forget the super chats are open. I survive on you, you know, with you, for you, full time. Don't I, I don't want to go back to work like a real job. This has to be my job from now on. So help uh, help out Goofon, PayPal, Cash App, Patreon. Yeah. Or super chat, super sticker, super, super, super generoso X10. Thanks. And I'll open up that phone line here in, well, 20, 30 minutes. And it was just the right amount of doors, maybe. Call it coincidence. Um, do whatever you want. But uh, you can find me on Amazon. <laughs> 
through uh, the UFO files that you can find. There's, I think, five or six, seven seasons. There's like 50 episodes on Amazon you could watch. And me and Apollo Asteria, Doc Skinner, even Dave Scott's on there. Uh, all of these things we did earlier in the year are now on Amazon Prime. UFO Network. It can be either or. I, I like to think it is the greatest. It has. It's become the greatest. We, we have a affiliation with the largest UFO network. YouTube channel, Third Phase of Moon. Um, regardless of what you think about them, they have changed things like you can't believe in the last five, uh, four to five years. And not only does that connection with Third Phase of Moon bring a different status to Goofon, it brings it to anybody affiliated with them. Not, and that means Amazon Prime is now affiliated with Goofon, Third Phase of Moon, Third Phase, Dark Hour, Paranormal. Well, not yet, but is very soon. Um, <clears throat> 1028 Productions, Apollo Asteria, uh, Dave Scott from Spaced Out Radio, Dr. J Radio Live, uh, and so on. Alien Addict as well, Ollie from the UK. That also translates to the largest... 50 million people, probably minimum, a night watch Jaime Mosan in Mexico. Half of families watch, and there's 125 million people in Mexico. Half of them watch his show. Third Phase of Moon has given Jaime a lot of stuff, and we're in it. So our names are also going to be affiliated in Mexico, all over Mexico. So we've got Mexico. Amazon, the U.S., and not only it's the largest UFO channel in the world, you could also say, because I know what's happening, that the United Kingdom, the U.K., Europe, will be featuring, and I can't tell you how, in the future, near future, will be featuring things from Goofon, Dark Hour Paranormal, and everybody I just mentioned on Third Phase of Moon and Third Phase. Third Phase is the channel that is kind of like a quick news ticker. We're trying to fine tune it as we go. So you'll see different formats and different styles and you'll see 2100 subscribers now. So thank you for that guys and Third Phase for promoting. Anytime we're on Third Phase, you know it helps out with the subs. Um, uh, hey, at third phase, well, I have a good TV format, but I need support making this. He's 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 just telling well, uh, you and I. Well, you know what, uh, Lions Brown, the support would be is that third phase of moon would support your channel by telling all our subscribers to go check out your report. So, Lions Brown, if you're out there, you got a good report, bring something new to the table, and you produce it. We'll share a portion of it on Third Phase of the Moon and then say, go watch the rest on your channel. And we want to help out all these small channels out there. But we want this community, even the out there channel. If you're listening, Paul, you bring something original. Give us something good. And then we'll share it and shout you out. That's, you know, we don't, we want to bring everybody together. There's too much fighting in this field. But, you know, I, I think uh, there's too many egos out there, too. The ego, everybody thinks they're the smartest guy out there debunking videos. And therefore, they're genius because they think they got it right. And, uh, you know, it's self-glorification and patting themselves on the back. But I think bringing new information to the forefront is what is key to everything. In his mind, he thinks he's doing it right, though. You know, he thinks he's doing something good. How do you, how do you tell somebody they're not? You know, when they believe what they're doing is correct. It's just uh, weird. I know Lions Ground. His production quality is good. He knows how to edit. Oh he's yeah, he's got a good voice. He's got his he's got his sound equipment. He could be a good uh, asset in this in this world, bringing great stories together. But a lot of his pieces are hit pieces, and I don't think the hit piece is what people want to see. They don't they don't want to see hit pieces. They want. And then I'm also thinking the reason they're not blocking me or blocking them or him talking to me this way 
because they know who it is. It, it was probably Corinth doing it with the fake account, for all I know. I know who it was. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure. There's a way to find out. I think it was Joe Mersia. Yeah. It was Joe Mersia. That's who I think it was. Either that or Christopher Wolford, one of those two. Joe Mersia, Red Rum, the guy who does like three articles a year and thinks he's hot shit in the UFO community. Well, he's hot shit with his little buddies at the, uh, what do they call them? Dumb guns? The UFO, young guns, dumb guns too. I saw a few super chats. Uh, say anything now till after the show, you dill hole. Oh my God. Somebody please tell Martin Willis. It can just not be me. This guy's awful, just awful. No, I'm serious. He may be a nice guy, but if you want to, well, never mind. Hey, you know what? Who am I to judge? I'm nobody. Don't listen to me. I'm going to pull Lou Elizondo. Research yourself and contact Martin Willis yourself, okay? See if he'll get any... Uh, and he, see if you get a reaction. I can't even talk. I, I can't believe this is actually happening. Let me see. I have another. I can go another two minutes if I wanted to. Let's hear one more thing. Whoa. What did I just see? What is this? Is that Apollo? Is that what he's doing? Is he making fun of Apollo Asteria? You are so amazing, UFO Jesus. No. Oh my God, he did it. He did it. Hello. Mark the time, everybody. Uh, oh, I still don't have a pen in this room. Mark it down. 11.15 p.m. Eastern, May 15, 2021, UFO Jesus on my show. Anyway, officially jumped the shark. He has now reduced himself to sex appeal, to get viewers. Hey. You want to do that? It was my idea long ago. I always said we should have a hot girl. Okay. So let's hear what's being said about the channel. I'm interested. We don't do this that often. Uh, he attacks even UFO Jesus, and he's a pretty harmless guy. Um, he says that I attack UFO Jesus, and that he's a pretty harmless guy. UFO Jesus is a dangerous guy. Making claims? See, I just played that sentence. I didn't know what was going to play. Why is UFO Jesus harmless? He's not harmless. He says things with the following of thousands that shouldn't be said, in my opinion. It's my opinion. But I believe some of you believe that disclosure is not going to happen. Like he said a couple of years ago, disclosure is going to happen in six months. Then disclosure was going to happen in 2017. Then it was going to happen in... What do you want? What, what do you want to do now, ufology? What do you want to do now? These these guys owe me an apology. I want an apology, actually. I'd like, if Joe, you want to apologize for things you said, Joe Mergia, Mergia, whatever, you know, I'm here. You want to say I'm sorry? Because uh, I've seen the things you've said. <laughs> And I don't really care. I just think it's interesting um, that you would say something about me and you don't even know me. Um, forgive me. So I was going to talk about Bill Pullen for a minute because this bozo is calling me out. Now, do I take the high road and just say, who cares? Or do we dig deep and find out, what did he say? Why is he making fun of my hat? 
I think I think yesterday I dink. I dink I said. I dink. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I talked about him briefly. That uh come to find out he's he used to go by UFO historian when he was on Spaced Out Radio. I think Dave just called him that. I'm not sure, but he didn't say I'm not a historian. And there were some things like when we would share the round table or whatever we were on. I think it was the round table. And I, and I think I asked him and I go, what year was Roswell again? I forget. He goes, I don't know. I, th I always oh, right. It's 47. What do you mean? You don't know. You're a historian. It should be like that. Just spit it out. But it happened again on another show. When was Rendlesham Forest, I said? And I knew this time. It was 1980, right? Isn't it 1980? Hey, Google. You know? So he didn't know it was in 1980. He said 82, I think. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, this guy's a joke. He's totally lying. He's not even a historian. What is going on here? Is Dave just calling them historian because he got one question right one night? It had to be that, I'm thinking. And it's true. Now, anybody who talks about me, I don't go after. I don't talk about Hustley, They had him doughy. Like he was a doughy. You know what I mean? Like the Michelin doughboy. You know that guy? That's Danny Silva. Danny's Danny's doughy. Da doughy Danny. It's doughy Danny Silva against Joe Splurja. Joe Merja has done nothing, in my opinion, for ufology. And this guy, uh, uh, from what I've heard, puts out an article every five months. And he thinks he's on top of the world, ufology. Here I am, ufology. Who is this guy? What did he do? Five months ago, he wrote an article. I don't know. It was on Tim McShillan's show or something. Oh, one of the McShillan boys. Yeah, it's one of the McShillan boys. Doughboy Danny's still there? You know Doughy Danny? So... You get a little dough with Danny, and you get a little, uh, you know, Joe Mersha reminds me of the little midget that's behind the big bully, and the big bully go, goes, don't you ever come around here again, and Joe Mersha pops out, yeah, don't ever come around here again, yeah, that's it, that's Joe Mersha, he's always just, yeah, yeah, you better not, see, because he'll beat you up, man, <laughs> it's Danny's doughy danny the big big uh doughy cyborg and little joey joey splurgia i forget what i called her she just pops out between his legs yeah yeah she it was a riot so i'm making a video bruce mcavee that's how we know him really nice guy he gets everything wrong he will support a video 100% if it if it's CGI and it's doing really well and it gets the people talking I think he just says things that he shouldn't Nice guy Can't trust him It's my opinion Let me tell you something I'm usually right I'm usually right about these people because I see it with my own eyes. I've seen Bruce McAbee on so many shows giving so many bad reviews and, 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 and saying, saying the Phoenix Lights, the one at 10 o'clock with the dots, that's a UFO. But he never mentions the one at 8 o'clock. That always bothered me. And ever since then, I really paid attention to this guy and everything he says is wrong. Everything. Everything. Guy who opened up a web. Uh, first of all, let's talk to Brandon. Fugle 
was in Dave Scott's top 10 UFO researchers of 2020. He's not even a UFO guy. He is a rancher slash mogul of uh, real estate. Real estate mogul in Utah. I don't know. Whatever. He made a lot of money selling land, homes, who knows. Whatever. And he bought Skinwalker Ranch from Bigelow. And apparently he's been there for a little bit, right? But he puts up a photo of two UFOs that one of his researchers captured when they first got to the ranch. And I was the only one who said, man, that's that's balloons. It's awful. It's taken with the cell phone. Come on, man. You can't be calling yourself real researchers and posting this crap. He is also part of UFO Twitter world. Converses with them daily. Gets high praise. High marks for being geeky. And people just love him. Gotta love the geek. Love geeks. Geeks are cool. Yeah. He is. He's a, he's a nerd. A nerd? Yeah, he's a nerd. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But I don't see us ever meeting and breaking bread. Only because it's UFO Twitter. You know what I mean. So I wasn't really thrilled with that posting at the latter. To the bottom of all this. <laughs> Look at Tucker. He acts like he really gives a shit. Yeah, you didn't call me back, Mother Tucker. Biatch. By the way, what it is you're saying these debunkers are doing wrong. I'm assuming it is UFO of interest on Twitter that you have a problem with. I can't find it, the ISS Tic Tac video from third phase of moon that you referenced in your video. Do you have a link to that? So I wrote back and said, there seems to be a new but same kind of debunkers we all know who lie and make people think they debunk some videos not my videos but videos that have been shared on third phase of moon and on goofon you probably remember how much i can't stand liars and hoaxers and how i hated third phase of moon and then i said without getting into years worth of detail third phase of moon and i are friends and as you know they changed their ways. With me and Third Phase of Moon being friends, I am getting blamed for hoaxing videos now. Something that's never happened in 17 years, at least not at this level where it never stops. Yes, UFO of interest is one of the fake hoaxer debunkers, but there's a few more that just popped up. Um, the other is the Out There channel. The person I was speaking of tonight is Scott Brown. You must have heard about. He's a third, the Out There channel. He's a really dumb guy. Not just dumb, but actually low and IQ dumb. Anyway, that's all I can say. If there's legitimate debunking going on, I'm okay with that. I'd like to learn something new, but when they blatantly lie about certain things, to prove their point is worse than a hoaxer, in my opinion. And when it's about me and my friends, I take it more personally. I'll find the link for you. And I never did. Because the next day, or t and two or three, she says that I'm harassing her and I'm bullying her. And she says she doesn't even know me. She says, I don't know who Goofon is. How do you not know me? You were on my show. The video plays because he's, he's an expert. He's got two degrees. He's got two degrees. What does a degree mean? Who gives a shit? I've got two degrees. Who cares? I don't ever talk about them. Something you don't need to know. You will someday. Look, some things are better left unsaid. It leaves more mystery to the host. He's got two degrees. He didn't say what the degrees were. Isn't that funny? Couldn't think of something that he could back up. You know. I bet he doesn't have a psychology degree. Criminal law? Probably not. I've never seen him do a, uh, well, we're, you know what I'm going to do? Nothing, because I don't give a shit. We're done. Experiences, all right? Leave it to the people who have actual degrees, okay? Leave it to people who don't want to 
lie to everybody else. Okay, goodbye, good riddance, deep prasad is over. Anybody who deals with him is also the enemy of me, my team, and anybody else who associates with me. This can't keep happening in ufology. Why is it that when I say something, it gets pushed aside, oh, the loud mouth. What do I have to do to get it through to people that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this field? 17 years isn't anything to sneeze at. If people even looked into me and talked to me, I think they would know. I may know a little more than just what you see on the show because, you know, I do a lot of the, the fluff stuff. But when it comes to serious stuff and we talk serious stuff, what am I saying? How, <laughs> taking myself, see, I'm even trying to make myself a little bit lighter on the subject. This is just a weird day. Two, three, four. I know. What am I doing? What a schmoho. <laughs> I'm so stupid. There it is. Eh, what an idiot. I see I'm not that bright. Here it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, you've got to watch out for these guys. Stan Friedman! We've got a caller coming in from Phoenix, Arizona. Art Bell! Ah! <laughs> Never knew that one too far again, and I don't remember why I came. <laughs> Isn't this weird? Where are we? What world is this? Am I even here? This is so bizarre. I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to open it up last night and show you what it looks like, but next time. I don't know why I can't. It's right here. I see it. I know how to uh, open that up. All right. I have changed so much that uh, I don't even recognize what I'm saying sometimes. It's like, what did I just say? I'm like, okay, that seems nice. But who, <laughs> when did I go from... Well, I know when it was. I used to... I can't go on living in this world where there's all this hate. And I'm still going to... I'm still me! We just can't... There's... So wait a minute. I'm a little confused. I don't understand. I mean, I think I do. So you because doxing is probably the worst thing you can do on the internet is posting someone's personal information. Yeah, couldn't post mine. Post mine. You know? Guys are more than welcome. You know I don't care about death. Don't kill me, please, anyway. Put me out of my misery. Like I'm afraid? I'm going to walk out and somebody's going to stab me, shoot me? Thank you, I would say. Thank you. I would look into their eyes and I would say, and I'd cry. A little tear would come down. That's how much I want to research the other side. Because you shouldn't. I mean, listen. Nah, I'm half. I'm half goofing, man. What it is? I feel I've lost my identity. Actually, to be honest. Uh, that's it's not a good thing to feel it's weird I've never had to feel it before I've always just done what I wanted because I liked it I never actually well I did 
I thought I was what I was doing was before is different than what I'm doing now. And I want to talk about that. No! I forgot to cut the deck! No! No! Unbelievable! Whatever it is, but th that's the point. We must find out if there's something in our airspace we need to know. Uh, for years, government said... Fuck off, everybody. That's what they're doing to me. Every fucking time I do something different, I want to make my life better, you got to go two fucking steps back every fucking time. Every time. You just can't have it nice the first time, can you? No, look at this. Fuck it. I hate this fucking life. I swear to I swear to God, I do. Swear to God. I hate this life. Hate it. I want out and I'm leaving it. I don't care. I do care. It's just the microphone's blocking it. I wanted to get my oh get, no. 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 I see it up in the corner. Don't, don't, I'm not settling. I'm not settling down. This chair sucks dick. You wanna know? You wanna know? It won't be all right. Well, I got bruises all on my arms from boxes and banging in the shit. I'm at my wits end. I'm at, I'm done. I can't, my house is still, it looks like every box puked everything that was inside. And I have done so much. I, I haven't stopped working. I slept an hour and a half. I went to bed at 6 a.m. Slept till 8.30, uh, two and a half hours, I think that is, if I do the right math because I had to be up by 9.30 because somebody was coming over. And, you know, then I, uh, and I know there may be people watching. They're like, oh, this is the show? No, but it happens. Sometimes this stuff happens on this show. It's not like any other paranormal show. It's not like any other show, really. I mean, it's just stupid. I don't even know why anybody's here. But the internet seems to be working. And I did smoke out. What do you think? What do you think that is? It's the, it's the bowl with this, remember? <laughs> I feel like I'm on another planet right now. I got I to gotta, uh, just start over. Let's start over. Can we do that? Let's start over. Not all of it, but let, let's start over. Just give me give me 30 seconds. Poly bag of donuts. I can't do that IQ level. It's hard for me to drop down that low and sound that way. I, ha I still sound like I'm moderately uh, intelligent. So sorry if I didn't nail that impression. It was it was too good. Yeah, it was too good. Too smart. I didn't say it. He did. Uh, I told him. This is from Paul. I told him to blur out addresses, emails, and telephones if uses anything. That's redacted. Again, you gave permission to use any material. Maybe that's the misunderstanding as to what can use from Lions Ground. So ask. Uh, so he I imagined because what you have to imagine the money showing up somehow and the only way you can do that 
and trick the universe into thinking reality is happening with your thoughts is by trying to create that reality down to the minute detail. So how? How is that freaking religion? Holy shit. This is my religion. I'm never going to stop. And I talked about it on the show that night. It was Sunday. Uh, that God did make us in his own image. We are gods. We can do it. We can control our own lives, pretty much. I look at uh, Brenton Blake Cousins as an example of this. And I'll tell you why. Not only do they have a good work ethic, but they know they can get shit done. You see, they know they can do it. They know it. So the universe knows it. And those doors open. I do. I really do. I know that's crazy. But if God. You can say it wasn't the secret, Rich. It was just chance. We're gods. I believe that we are gods. I do. I really do. I know that's crazy. But if God created us in his own image, let's just use that story, shall we? Well, we're going to try it again. See if this works now. I'll be able to hear my voice go live. You know, now, now I'm going to try something here before I get crazy. Because I don't think, I think because I'm hearing it, I just got to know, I it's going to double play. So if I'm hearing it and it's going out, now let me try something here. Try this here. Ooh, what's this from before? I don't know what happened. I might have just messed up. No, I'm and it's going out. Now let me try something here. See what I mean? Try this here. It's working. Ooh, what's this from before? I don't know what happened. I might have just messed up. No, I'm and lying. it's going out. Now let me try something here. Because I listen. I, mean? I can't listen. This here. It's working. That's what it is. Okay. Okay, Dan. See, but if I'm listening to her and I'm going to play the clip, how do I stop it from playing for y'all? Bad. This is really bad. I, yeah, I mean, this is a channel that just spun out of control. And what he's trying to do is gain traction off of third phase of moon. He sees Goofon growing. He thinks he can just steal our stuff and use it and talk about us. Well, he still doesn't understand what uh, fair use is. It's amazing to me. All right, I am looking for... I don't know. Um, thank you, Recon Havoc. You didn't have to do that. I was seeing it. If I play this, I could get a I can get a copyright thing. But uh eh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna test it. And as you can see on this website dedicated to Hum Reports, he's one of thousands. It's, it's for learning purposes. That, that people self populate and it's quite a large community. The hum is a worldwide phenomenon of this. Can straight... you believe MJ Bananas is on here? How did he get here? Investigative journalist? Dave Scott, is he an investigative journalist? Somebody dial 9111. Editor for the de deflate.org? Oh my god! The History Channel has been taken over by Twitter. That's what they did. 
that that's what the history channel did this is so oh my god if ufo jesus gets his own tv show no seriously if that happens I don't know if I could this is, So we've got a hoaxer from the the debrief.org who's on this show and we've got MJ Bananas calling himself an investigative journalist probably isn't and he's also from the deflate.org Oh my god. Who else is I can't change mysterious sound. Journalist MJ Benaya says the mystery is complicated because the hum is not always the same. The hum changes. It's not one unified sound across the planet. Oh, or... I got such a great joke right now and I can't even say it because somebody will get hey, you just said something about a So they're out there in the middle of the ocean. I have to stop it. For fair use. I have to. By the way, thank you for the $5 V12, and that's no joke. Thanks for the $5 super chat saying, Goofon is more interesting than CE5. It depends on how you look at it. <laughs> I had nothing when I coughed. I was going to say something, and I changed my mind. That's why it didn't work out the way you thought it was me to. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm a little worried about pulling the damn thing. Um, repairing or repositioning uh, buoys and David any Bowie? other types of aids to navigation. Within bother coming to, I wouldn't fucking shake your hand. You wouldn't even touch elbows, COVID? No? That's the kind of person he is. It's all about the hate. I'm going to look in. Um, what is going on here in the chat? Stop stealing our footage. Yeah, it's true. Third Face said, stop stealing our footage, the Out There channel. You've been warned. I did not invite you to take and steal my video. This is your last warning. Ah, this is getting out of control. Out There channel. Chemical Summer says, surely you can improvise your live show if it benefits its content for any viewers. Brett Lewis says, you've grown a hell of a lot in the last three years I've been with you. You, less mean, less judgment, slower to anger, and more humble. First person witnessed almost nightly for three years. Oh, thanks a lot, dude. I think that's what they want. They just want that link back. Some people are going to be asses and they're going to copyright claim, even strike you. And, and that's unfortunate. You know, you should always have a chance to right the wrong you made. And I believe in that. That's why Paul is down to just under 11 hours before if he doesn't remove my mother's address, then I will have to take action. Yeah, I said it. Because doxing is probably the worst thing you can do on the internet. Is posting someone's personal information. Yeah, couldn't post mine. Post mine. You know? Guys are more than welcome. Stop stealing our footage. Yeah, that's true. Third Face said, stop stealing our footage, the Out There channel. You've been warned. I did not invite you to take and steal my video. This is your last warning. Ah, oh, this is getting out of control. Will Pullen, I don't know, he went by, didn't I already, did we already say this? William Pullen, the historian? Well, not really. This guy, hey, hey, you know what? 10, I got 10 seconds before I got to stop smiling. 7, 6, hi. Four, three, two, yeah. So, why? I don't know. I can't. I just can't. I can't think. 
Something's wrong with my brain. This happened the other night. I can't think. And it, and it makes me feel weird. Like I almost can't even speak because too many, th too many thoughts are going through my head. Have you ever had that happen? I've never had too many thoughts. <laughs> never. I've, all the groups, guys. All the groups. You know the ones. Come on. They got three letters. TTSA. Oh, that's four. One that he thinks might have been UFOs, right, at first. So he put it out there on the Internet, thinking it's probably balloons. He didn't know. Well, this guy, his name is Paul. We call him Paula. We call him Mushmouth because it's hard to understand what he's saying. It's part of his slow processor, you know, that, that slow processor. He, it is weird. It is a little weird. Forgot what I was going to say. That's all right. Let's get back to this. Well, he's making a lot of assumptions here. But I thought it would be interesting to put somebody in their place tonight. <laughs> While cars rev up their engine right outside. Here we go. So let's look at the channel together. Now, the Out There channel. Oh, you're thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't sound too bad. <clears throat> Let me pull me up so you can see me. I don't want you to miss a thing. So this Saturday night, I'm just, I just had this up. Uh, when was this? Oh, February 15th. He did a live show today, I think. It was, it was so funny. Nobody was there. You know how we have like 45 to 55 people here? No, when I say nobody, there was nobody there. There was a zero, double zero. Well, there was double zeros for a second. And then he had a, he had a guy on and then it was zero one. So I got to know if he came on, but wow, this guy has 2,600 2,200 subscribers. So he has a, exactly, almost to the number, a 1,000 more than we do. I'm going to make a, an observation here because I think this is an important one. So you look. All right. This was February 15th. 20 likes, 9 dislikes. And that was a Saturday Live UFO topic and debunk of me. And LG oh, Lions Ground deleted. So, how many views did he get? 256. By the time this show, I found somebody who has the opposite of critical thinking, like totally the other way, like uh, on the other end of the spectrum. I mean that with respect. I don't hate Paul on the out there channel. I don't hate the guy. You know what I mean? He's a nice guy. I just think he he's trying too hard. That's it. Yeah, that that's what it is. You're trying too hard, Paul. He won't listen to me. And I did. He sends me advice on things. It's not a bad relationship we have. I hate to see it go to the wayside considering you said you would never talk to me or be my friend. Um, when I've reached out and I said, you know, hey, let's just forget about it. No, you was, he goes, you associate with third phase. Can't do it. Huh? <laughs> Poor me. Poor me. You guys didn't know this was going on. Like I didn't say anything, right? And I was waiting to see if any one of you would say, you know, I heard something from this channel, but not one of you came to me, hold on, not one of you came to me and said, have you heard what the Out There channel is saying about you? Not one. That is hilarious. You know why? Because nobody gives a shit what this guy thinks. Nobody cares. Everything you're trying to find out and trying to debunk is bullshit. You've got nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
Hey, Goddess Michelle, thank you for the $10 super sticker, super chat. GM in the house. Thank you very much for that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you, uh, you have contributed before. I appreciate that. Thank you again. Thank you. You know, I am not sure when I'm going to get my stimulus check, if I'm going to get it. Gufan is totally supported by you. I, I live off that. Uh, thank you so much. It goes right back into the show. If, if there's not anybody working harder than me in ufology, uh, really, at this point, third phase of moon does it more than anybody I've ever, ever talked to. It's crazy how many, what do they call it? Rods they have, in, irons they have in the fire. There's always three or four things in the making. Never see anything like it. It's kind of motivated me, as you could tell. Making videos for third phase. Got a really good one coming up later. Tonight, I'll be posting something to third phase. Tomorrow, another one will come out in the morning. Um, I'm on a mission. Yeah, I'm on a mission. I think I figured it out. We don't mind... Like third phase doesn't mind me using their stuff. I'm not making any money off of it. Um, they verbally said I could use it, but even if they didn't, um, it could be bad for me if, uh, if I uh, didn't have their permission. And it can be bad for a lot of people who use third phase's videos. Now, they don't strike people. I didn't know this. I don't know if they have in the past, but they said... if. We don't ever want to strike anybody if we don't have to. Now, the out there channel I've been putting up with because... Who's taking them? I mean, Paul, no, no offense. Nobody's really listening or taking... And me too. I only have 60 people a show, 70. Well, now more than 100 <laughs> alive. But yay! Uh, but it takes time to grow. And uh, you know, at least we're moving forward. Um, but... Lost my train of thought. Damn it. I had to throw that in there, didn't you? I had to throw the extra comment in the side. I should have just kept on talking. It'll come back. And uh, I'm, I'm all in. Chips are in. And it's also kind of cool. You know, YouTube lets me use this platform to make a living. So it's free. They set it up for me. All I need is an internet connection and a great computer and a camera that works. So I don't mind them taking 30%. Is it, is it a lot of money? Yes. Is PayPal the best way to send money to me so I get more? Absolutely. I appreciate that. So you shouldn't feel so bad about the super chats because it's like seeing a... It's like getting entertainment. So I appreciate that. And when Lee said that, I, I kind of understood that, okay, well, you know, maybe you do like what you see. And I know some people find it difficult the way I transitioned into a, this uh, softer version of what I usually do. But I have no choice. Um, I do not want to lose what we have. So I decided you can't beat them. You just can't. If you want to beat everybody, you be the owner. That's the only, I, I don't own YouTube. I have to follow the guidelines. So I'm figuring out ways to do things. Again, you know, as always, the morphing show that is uh, goof on. But with the addition of third phase of moon, the third phase UFO report channel I manage over there. This has been an exceptional year for, for Goof on. Exceptional on every level. I haven't worked this hard in 15 years since I first started. 16 years ago. Well, no, 2004. 17 years now. So, I never... Uh, I just saw it in the corner of my eye. Jerlin, is it Jerlin Laren? $10. It's a super chat. Let's take a look. Super chat says, sucks. 
You can't share the information I am sending you on your YouTube radio station. You can't share the information I am sending you. Oh, yeah. There's some things I can't share. Thank you very much, Jerlin Laren. I hope I'm saying that right. Laren, Jerlin. Thank you very much for the $10 super chat. I've been getting information from Knowledge888, and it's a Phil Schneider thing. And trying really hard. And uh, just as Ellie Girl 111 was saying earlier, that how the TTSA, they own this stuff, and they never gave any of the uh, pioneers credit like Third Phase of the Moon and even reached out to us, that really got me thinking. That's absolutely true. And remember, we had you go to the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, and Washington Post to tell everybody we got information and videos and what happened rich what happened when he did that for us so, nobody <clears throat> couldn't get through nobody ever got back to me still to this day i called three different newspapers why would you think, yeah you would think that um newspapers would respond when you told these guys that you know we have over 300 million views and 770,000 subscribers and we get we have thousands of videos and smoking really amazing videos. You would think that you'd get a call back, right? You would think, but uh, I mean, we knew that going in. They're they're probably not going to get to us, but we got to try. Somebody, I believe someday somebody will come will get to us. Call us back. Time and a place. Yeah, you know, holding my breath. We tried, right? We tried. Anyway, just ease up a little. All right. Let, let's, why can't you just start a clean slate? Why can't you just do that from a two years ago? Go back, see if you find anything suspicious. I'm sure you'll say, yeah, there's a lot of things suspicious. Everything about those suspicious. You, those people I don't care for. All right. Anyway, I said what I had to say, and I'll probably say it a lot. I don't care. I don't like being, uh, I don't like seeing that especially about people who are trying to do the right thing and work. If you guys knew how hard these guys work to get to where they are and to edit these things and to have them play correctly and be smooth, and you, you don't know what you're talking about. It's so easy to be mean. I know. I did it. But, you know, now I know. Now I know the stories. Some of them. Well, very little. But I... I <laughs> gets closer to this one what happens to the string it dips down watch Required, and whatever this is if it's a craft there it goes craft, right there a bunch of individual lights it does seem to it's it's totally balloons so it makes me angry that this is posted as something that could possibly be legit third phase of moon shame on you, you know there's a lot of people who uh feel you rub them the wrong way and i know that you know if they took the time to to get on the phone with you and learn who you are and what you're all about and you know and and understand that in the end we're entertainers you may like our entertainment you may not like our entertainment but truly uh i am so blessed to have you as a friend and, and out of anybody in this field that i want to sit down and have a beer with man it, it's you see joe's watching because he's hoping somebody will mention something about him. Watch. On the air. Absolutely. Guys, Shame on you said, for talking that oh, way, Joe. Yes. You know it's about entertainment with what I do. I'm on five this days. This is not of entertainment week, for me. This is not entertainment for most of us. I'm sorry. My show is an entertainment. Oh, what a dick. I just you are. You. And the people that you interview and the people that respect you. And I know people are going to sit out there and go, Stop, why don't you guys just get a room? Yeah, maybe we will. All right, maybe we will. I'm not afraid to say that. No, I'm joking. Um, but sadly. Well, Rich, you did a show a couple of nights ago that really rocked the UFO world, and congratulations on that, by the way. Thanks. Okay, because yeah. I know there's a, I know there's a lot of people reaching out to you, and there still will be because it's everybody's – Well, what's happening is everybody's asking me how to get a hold of you. Yeah, okay. I, they're finding me. Yeah, thank you. And, <laughs> and uh, thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. <laughs> anyways, anyways, one of those people who contacted me today, okay, he's, he says, you know, the problem is we're, all, we're not in this field of ufology. 
And we can only go by what, you know, trust what somebody tells us. And when we did a quick look at people, they said it, it looked like they were who they said they were. Right. All right. Now, I, my, my report to him was this. Okay. And I'm not trying to put people like you or me on pedestals. Okay. That's yeah. not what I'm trying to do. But I said, I said this out of genuine caring. I said, I said, you have to learn if you're going to battle this field and step in this field, you have to realize it is filled with charlatans. And if you're going to rip one person for not having the credentials that they said they did, you have to do that to all ufology and, and vet everybody who comes in contact with your group. I said, I can, I said, let's take me for instance. If you wanted to question my background in journalism, I could give you names. I could show you stories on the internet. I could show you everything that I have done. I still got notepads because I saved them for some stupid reason and mic flashes and everything. Okay. I can show you all of that. I said, but this is what I'm saying. And, and people harp, you know, I've heard people harp on me and harp on you, Rich, uh, you know, go. I'm not going to hold you back. I just think, and then I said, how is it you get all of the things I've said in the last six months since I've met Pama, maybe a little longer than that. This is the thing that's going to make you leave goof on. That's the thing that triggered you after all the love and the super chats and the emails and it doesn't make sense to me. What did I do wrong? I, I really don't get it. It's just bizarre. And that goes to what I wanted to say. People don't like the truth in this field. And it's very concerning to me. You want to be entertained. That's one of the reasons why you come to Goof On. I know that. But that's me being me. I'm not putting on an entertainment. Uh, I'm not doing a play. I'm not reading from a script. This is my thoughts. This is the way I am in my mind. I'm putting it out for you, which in a form of itself is entertainment. Yeah. Because I say goofy things, make you know weird comments, and but it's always based on truth. And the one thing I'll never do and I'm trying not to, and I don't think it can happen because my belief system, my critical thinking is too strong. It won't let me waver too far over into the non-believable, believable stuff, like Corey Good and David Wilcock type of stuff. You know what I mean? I won't dip into that because I don't believe in a lot of the stuff they say, but there is some truth in what they say about the secret space program. Look, they know people, they themselves didn't work there at these, but they did. Well, I, I think I need to take that back. I think they claim they work there, but they eventually get information from whistleblowers and stuff like that. And talk of these incredible projects that are happening, these programs, these groups that are happening right under our feet. And uh, we're working with aliens. We're working with uh, reverse engineered technology. There is Stargate technology, wormhole. I mean, you really have to suspend disbelief, right? To, to really go that far. I can't technically. But last uh, night, was it last night? When did Dave have, Lu two nights ago, Dave Scott had Luis Elizondo on Spaced Out Radio. Pretty freaking good show. Dave was over, like, I think he had 220 live or something. It was popping in the chat room. Super chats were flying. And pretty much people were okay in the chat room, except for a couple of people. Like, this one guy named Irish something started calling me out. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? He's, oh, Luis Elizondo has done more than you. What have you done? Show us pareidolia of Mars and the moon or something like that. And I'm like, what have you done? And I, and then I said, I, I have a two-hour show. That was, like, 15 minutes Uh so can you tell me something else, you know? And then he blocks me. But the thing that was concerning to me was when I was on third phase of moon chat and Palm Mom, you all know Palm Mom, right? Started digging into me about Nick Pope. Like, oh, I need to get evidence on Nick Pope before I start calling him out. And I'm like, what do you, I wasn't calling Nick Pope out. How could I be calling Nick Pope out? She's not here right now. I just checked. But I don't understand it. I was reading about Nick Pope from another source. Like, I didn't say it. All I did was agree with what I was reading. Like, I knew it. I knew Nick Pope. I didn't know for a fact anything. I never claim I had facts. Yes, Rich, but when you talk about some of these people, you know, they're like superheroes to these people. You know what I mean? They can't do any wrong. Nick Pope, uh, you know, Linda Moulton Howe and Greer and whoever else you want to choose, Luis Elizondo, they can't do any wrong. And I told Pom Bomb, I'm like, I didn't, I had facts. I mean, it was from some, she says, adios, unsubbing. Dave did a great job. No nefariousness in Dave. There really isn't ever with Dave. Dave is a sweetheart. He really doesn't want him to ruffle anybody's feathers. He'd rather have me do it instead. Be a part of the game. And I will, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. 
Dave Scott's a real genuine guy, a real man, a real Bigfoot. What? He is a Bigfoot. He looks like Bigfoot. Who cares? I made fun of his shirt before the show started. I, I wish I didn't now. Oh, spaced out radio. I really appreciate is that he'll use me to attack other people because he thinks that's what I want to do. Like Ryan Sprague and, uh, well, Ryan Sprague. I mean, there's only one person, yeah. And I think there was one other. Oh, yeah, the, uh, it doesn't matter. Believe it or not. So by March, between March 15th and the 20th, uh, I'll be out of here. Well, 15th through the 18th. Yeah, because I got to be out on the 18th. Yes, that was a Red Bull cracking open. We're going for the Red Bull tonight. I want to welcome everybody. Love me some Red Bull. So I would love to go to Canada, William, but there's a guy up there who wants to punch my teeth out. And no, it's not Dave Scott. So I am going to talk about uh, the drama that has erupted from the roundtable show. And I talked about it briefly last night. I didn't know Dave was in here in the chat room last night stirring shit up. Oh, he's saying, from what I heard, I'm only paraphrasing, that he was saying, but just to give a, a, let me just say hi to everybody. Roll call, Thomas Roberts, welcome to the show. There's something wrong with the connection. Connection is unstable. It says if you're on Wi-Fi, try plugging in your router or move closer to it. I don't have Wi-Fi on my computer. I'm hardwired in. Can you believe this? What's going on? Body started contacting me. And I had a show planned, you know, as well as talking about Space Out Radio. And um <clears throat> And uh, everything I wanted to talk about, I have it ready to go, but not the way I wanted it. I usually get everything set up a certain way. So we'll be talking about a lot of stuff tonight. Um, uh, Mary Hall's here. What's up, Crow Step Mary Hall, Iceman Gambit? To stay in the chat Friday night would have never been allowed to happen to you. Not sure why you are scared to ban someone with a fake YouTube account is beyond me. I guess I'm little Richie G, the guy who nobody in your circle respects. And because of what I said about your top 10 list of ufologists is still on your mind. That's why that shit was allowed. See, I still think he's butthurt over that. By not removing that guy, says a lot to me. Speaks volumes. I wanted to think about it for a few days, which I did, Saturday and Sunday, before I said anything unfriendly, which is why I'm expressing this now. See, I gave him the weekend, as I gave myself the weekend to think things over, but I would have expected an apology or, hey, Richie, I'm sorry about that, but not then, not a. Now, you may think, oh, Rich can't take being ribbed and being trolled. Yes, I can easily. I've been trolled every day. I mean, it's not something that's new to me. What shouldn't be allowed is going that extra mile when you overstep the boundaries and say you're going to create harm to somebody. That shit doesn't fly here. It shouldn't be allowed anywhere, and especially to a friend, supposedly. I think you should have blocked him, but God forbid your occurrence showed some balls. Uh, and I found out Corrence has hands tied, so he couldn't have blocked him even if he wanted to, because Dave told him not to. Corrence kept saying to Dave, what was block the fucking guy? Uh, and then I continued here. I said, if you allowed that to happen to me, and according to you, we, we're good friends, well, maybe we aren't as close as you say we are. And then I said, and there's something about Dave I'm going to mention why this angered me. He says, you are right, 100%. I will be talking to Corey before tonight's show and instituting a zero tolerance policy for those who attack my friends and our guests. He doesn't care about anybody else but friends and guests, so if you're in his chat and you're being attacked, it's okay, don't worry about it. And then he said, I am sorry, we didn't act accordingly. To me, that's a robotic thing. You tell a secretary at the front desk to tell the guy in the back, the boss, what your what your plans are. We're going we're going to act accordingly. And who talks like this to a friend? And then I said, I feel so lucky now. Gee, thanks. And then he said, you're welcome, Rich. And then I said, I wasn't being serious, Dave. And that was the end of it. Block. Done. Finished. Fake friends. I don't want it. I'm not a good friend. I'm going to admit that right now. I wasn't a good friend. I'm not. And I think that comes from conversations I've had with Dave. And they go like this. Hey, Richie, how you doing? Oh, good. What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so everything going okay, Richie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're on your show. Great show, man. You're so freaking funny. Great show, great show. So, uh, so what else is going on, Richie? No, not much, man. Da, 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 da. And, then he, and then he'll be like, so everything's okay. I'm like, well, you know, da, da, da. And then my dog, oh, this is the one thing that started it all. I'll tell you right after. My dog died. The last person to say anything about it was Dave. And the only reason he said, I'm sorry about your dog dying was because I messaged Gail, I think, and she told him that Rich is upset that you didn't even say anything. His dog died. He was on a show crying about it. And usually friends will console you, call you, and tell you, hey man, sorry your pet died. And I thought Dave at the time was a really good friend, but we didn't have any beefs or anything like that. But not even, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your dog, nothing. But he's one of those people that when he calls you, it's not to say hi or to be friendly. It's about his accomplishment for the day. Or his Lou Elizondo. Hey, uh, so, so how you doing? And then he starts explaining how, how, how your day went. He's like, uh, 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 uh. hey, that's great, man. Let me tell you something. What happened? I got Lou Elizondo coming on the show. You know, it's like he can't wait for you to stop talking so he can speak. And that, that's always been that way. And I like that because I like Dave and, uh, you know, we, we had great rapport on the show and good chemistry that way. Um, but deep down, um, I felt like this guy doesn't care or he doesn't know how to care. So I was putting it out to myself that maybe he just doesn't know how to show his friendship. Maybe there's something that's deep within this person and I'll accept that fault, which well, that's what friends do. You accept them, you accept their friends for who they are. Um, and I did that. And I know he did that because I'm not, a, I'm not a good friend. I'm, I'm very selfish. I like my own time. I like to do things on my own schedule. Um, I don't like um, doing something that uh, it's not about friends. 
And, you know, people who have griped about you and griped about me about, you know, get off the pot, man, get off the pot. You know, we, we're, we're way too, too invested in this and, and you're making it emotional and you're making it, you're making your sound sound like an asshole and all of this kind of stuff. Really. It looks like I can feel that stuff too. It looks like you can feel it, but you can't. It's just cloth. It's cloth. Is this green? Yeah, even this has got a little green in it. I think my, uh, I got floating bud. <laughs> I got floating buds. Wait, no, buds. <laughs> That's so weird. It's just floating buds. Well, you Look, it's on a little tree. A little tree. <laughs> I don't ever see sticks in this stuff. That was just one stick. That is bizarre. Yep. So I am going to change my attitude from great, good mood to, hmm, this is creative weed. So I will be, see, it's a green lid. That Now you know what this is. Anytime I do this, it's the magic of the green lid. Capish! Oh! So I... Mm. And look what I think I'm going to do. I still have it all. I only used it those three times. 90% THC. Oh, oh, wait. Is that it? That's not the glasses. Chats from Lori Oliphant. 20 bucks. And um, I forget who, who just sent me that. Dr. J Radio. That's right. I'm not good with names, especially short-term memory. That short-term memory gets me every day. Usually in the morning and once in the afternoon for some reason. Oh, he smokes weed yeah, yeah. for pain once a day, maybe twice. I don't. It takes me forever to get through an eighth a month, I think. But I still have all of this pen left, this 90%. I only used it three, three times, and all three times it was too much. It was too much. I felt great, but then I got paranoid for like half an hour, and I hate that feeling. I start thinking of why my life sucks, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. But I, I you create this, like, what if I don't get a job and buy, uh, you know, this or that, or the other thing, and then you're like, oh, my God, what if I get kicked out? Oh, my God, I'd be broke. How would I get my, you know, and then you start, it starts snowballing. I'm going to be homeless. I could be homeless. Oh, my God. I'd have to sell everything. You guys know what this is, right? I haven't had it yet. Don't you like how that works? It's amazing, isn't it? For those of you who don't know what this is, it, it, it's it's uh, it's this. <laughs> haven't had any all day, so we are going to initiate the show with a little bit of, uh, shall we say spirits oh look at this spirit look it's on a little tree politics in ufology and i'm using a couple of these uh pieces from videos that i've had permission to to grab and use and uh you know it doesn't matter when i get it done in the next day or week because that's not going to change we're we're fighting against this twitter brigade that oh my god they are so off base it's amazing to me i just don't understand how we can be so different when we talk about something and i tried i tried to understand and and listen to what they say damn it i'm allergic to touching pot right i can touch it on this but if it gets on my face, which I just now got it on and I'm itching, or this side of my skin, my hands, these are, this part of my hands is the only thing that can touch pot. I got it now. It's, it's, I'm itching all over. 
Anyway, um, ah, I gotta go wash. I gotta. I'm gonna play this for a minute. Thousand to goof on it. And I've been using the hell out of it. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's it's. This is what the the kids are using. It's freaking awesome. Thank you, Mr. D. B. Cooper. Pecan 900. What I say? I said the pecan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think straight. You know why? Because I dabbed a little before the show. And it's kicking in. What are we doing? IR film? Oh, man. What is it? What do people do? I mean, what do you guys do for... IR film with a $10 super chat. It says, don't want to be left out. LOL. Great time, Richard. And uh, pure... Pyramid, spelling it with a Y, P-Y-R-A-M-Y-D-7, with the $5 super chat says, you bring a ton of smiles to many during difficult times, bro. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Okay. Not going to give in. I'm not going to be got. Alien Girl 1... One, one with the four dollar ninety nine cent super chat says feel better. Roosh. Aliens love UFOs. Yes, they do. I'll show you what you put there. I know the screen's not that jacked up, but holy macro, I don't think I've ever seen. <sighs> See, this is why I can't talk. You know what I mean? They give you this, this uh. I don't know, 95% pure enjoyment right there, potency. Anyway, um, thank you. Look, look at it's me about, you know, get off the pot, man. Get off the pot. You know, we, we're, we're way too, too invested in this and, and you're making it emotional and you're making it, you're oh. making your sound sound like an asshole and all of this kind of stuff. Really? Like I'm going to listen to this guy. First of all, I've tried that. It doesn't work. Second of all, it's my computer dick for brains. If you would have listened to the show and did a little bit of research, you would have known that it's my computer. Ah, oh, I just love little girls. Like this. Oh, that sounded awful. That pedophile. Yes, I can. And I don't know why <clears throat> 10 people would subscribe to that. Um, but that's ridiculous. The, the, anybody who subscribed to the Out There channel last night, you only did it because you felt bad for the guy, I think. And I don't know why. A guy who abuses a, a woman online by verbally assaulting her, calling her stupid, dumb, airhead... I mean, we're in the UFO community. Why would you say that about Apollo? You're the only one who's saying that shit. The only one. Yeah, other people said similar things, but they said it differently. They said she doesn't... They didn't call her names. They said she doesn't sound like she knows what she's talking about. And other people who went overboard were blocked, but... Moth-ridden hair. Round head. She kind of reminds me of uh, Stewie. And I'm talking about all things exist. You know, Big Mama. I call her Fat Mama now instead of Big Sister. Fat Mama. She came into the chat room today on, on this show. show. And I like the guy, but... That's the Virgin Mary! Hey, Richie! Hey, Richie! She ain't a virgin no more! <laughs> uh, let's Where did you find him? He is sexist. Sexist. Yeah, I'm sexist. Yet you want to roll out the kitten claws during the show about your hot flashes and then taking... Uh, never mind. I'm going to stop right there. Yeah, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep going on a little later. I'll think of somebody, you know? Better get your boy in check.
hippies in here say they love it when guys say, take your tits out. Hey, oh, feel me out. Feel me out, everybody. Hey, I'm still supposed to get a uh, massage from three, three young ladies. Three young ladies in the school gym locker when I noticed they was looking at me. I was he says I'm stalking her and harassing her. You know, that's what these little pretty white, uh, little white girls do that have everything handed to them that can play up their sex appeal and have men, f you know, fall all over them and want to have their kid, want to make a baby. She feels like you should be happy somebody even thought that about you. That's how I look at it. The day they stop telling you to take your top off is the day you got to worry. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? You don't hate it. You know you don't hate it. Right? How dare you talk about deep precise? You know what I think it is? I think it's his, um, his nationality. Is that what it is? His race? No, he's human race. I'm getting a lot of trouble for saying the wrong thing. So <laughs> he may be a different race. I don't understand the race that lies. I don't understand it, but yeah, it is human. I know, I know. Believe me, I know. But um, man, I need an apology. I'm not saying I didn't do anything. Of course I said something. Of course I created animosity a little bit but i didn't go over stepping over the line is what happens is what paul did at the out there channel that are out there let's not just attack each other let's go do what third phase of moon does we bring the news to the people we bring the news stories every day for everybody to talk about we don't talk shit about everybody else we're just doing our own thing and if anybody could contribute to that cause we're more than happy to share and shout out other people's channels when they do good work. But when the out there channel is just out there, just the out there channel, he doesn't do anything for anybody except, I guess, the four or five watchers he has for six or seven hours when he's broadcasting live. But, you know, I just don't like the personal attacks to our team members, to Apollo going after women and disrespecting people that share their videos to us, the public, strangers. And to me, those three things. And doxing people. Yeah, see, I've never once done that. I would never do that. That's so wrong in every level. You can get somebody killed by doing that. So you never know. I'm, I'm so mad at MUFON. I will be writing. Uh, I will be sending a message to this asshole. Right here. Sorry. I don't give a shit. Fold your arms, tough guy. Look down at me. You fucking bully. That's what he is. Uh -huh. National Chief Investigator. You did shit work on that investigation. How does this match what I found? He doesn't know the day of the sighting. That's why. Activity. D. Prasad is definitely lying about who he is. He would not show his credentials to anybody. We don't know. But we found out he doesn't have a degree. He doesn't even have a business license for his company. My goodness, what are we doing, ufology? Done. Can't trust this motherfucker anymore either. George Knapp. I'm done. I'm done with him. I I've given him enough passes, especially with the mistake he made with Bob Lazar. Big mistake. I don't see how you could vet somebody and look credible when you can't find a lot of information on them. We did all the vetting we could possible. Bob looks um, very, very, he's a nice guy. Bob's a nice guy. Mm, I'm a great guy. I am a nice guy. I, I told the truth. I told exactly what happened, and that's basically it. You guys want this proof that's just not there. It's just not. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, Joe Monk, that GF was a dick. And I think it was Joe Merja. Because that's, that's, that's something Joe Merja would do.
You know what I mean? Mr. Computer Tough Guy. We got a lot of those. I just come here and talk shit, you know, because I want them to see me when I tell them they suck and they're stupid and they don't know what they're talking about. And everything I said about TTSA came true. I said they got five years. They're going to be done. We all said it. A lot of us said it. They're not going to last. No way. Bring it in Lou. That's when we knew it, something was going to go awry with Tom DeLong and all of those people. So obvious, man. Um, anyway, Steve. It was all their fault anyway, her and Grant. Starting talking about that with Bob. <gasps> Maybe they're in on it. Oh, my God. Maybe everybody's in on it. This is worse than 9-11. It goes deeper than Tim. Oh, you got to be effing kidding me. Look who's number two. Can you believe this shit? This is 2020, the ending? Oh my God, thank God. Because if this came out tomorrow, I would have to say 2021 started off as the worst year ever. It's Tim McShillin. Batman balloon. Boy. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. The guy who came out of nowhere, right, made these great connections somehow in just a couple of years and was delivering documents and stories to, well, anyone who would listen. But where did he get this information? Who is this guy? And of course, he's the part of the Twitter UFO young guns. You know, how? How? Brandon Fugel. Zeke Fugel is on the list. Uh, everybody at Skinwalker. I'm not Stu Gerson, but I'm from the same mold. This man created an illusion. And he's working it to the best of his abilities. Which is really is any ability at all. This guy who, in my opinion, has done this much for ufology. Zero. Very little. Little. Tiny button. It's all political. And I think Tim McMillan is a shill. Is a shill? He is the new Richard Doty. But anyway, I'm moving on. Who are the guardians? Doc says, goof on, this is why we need a grading system on levels of knowledge. Well, first, we got to get the kids back in school. <laughs> and who becomes the grader of these knowledges? I, I tell you what, I'll be the guy. I'll be one of those guys. We can grade on a scale, what? A, B, C, D, F. Let's just do that. If I was to grade... Uh, the knowledge of, thank you very much, 1028 Productions, Doc Skinner, who, by the way, is also a part of the third phase of Moon panel. Not experts. But if I was to, to grade Ryan, a.k.a. UFO Jesus, are we basing this intelligence just on ufology or general overall? intelligence. We can do both. So I'm going to say for him, general knowledge of ufology, D, straight up, maybe D plus. I'll, I'll tell you why. He does not know the history of ufology. He makes assumptions about things that nobody could know. I, he And changed his tune. Now, I don't, have, I don't have a problem with people changing their mind or anything, but when you make it your mantra, and now you're changing your mantra. Like he would say, disclosure is going to happen within the next five months when he first came along with TTSA. Remember? And I was talking about it. show to run um, now. I knew he didn't and, like me anyway. Uh, I'm waiting to hear back from another couple that have a production company so, to anyway, see if they would like to be on. So be it. That is the last time I try to reach out to Doc Skinner. 
That is. That's the last time I try. Uh, I can only be a nice guy for so long. And God, it's a, it's a joke. And he blocked people. Blocked all, all third phase did was just that he was. They were just gonna correct him. No, 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 no. A block, banned him. Banned LG. Uh, I was surprised. I wasn't. I wasn't blocked. I was surprised. Anyway, I don't hate Paul as a person. I just don't like that shit, man. That makes the whole field. This is what happens when. I shouldn't have done it this way. It's my fault, guys. I'm sorry. Really, I, I am. I apologize to you guys if anybody got upset. Um, I will see why they were banned. Um, the Out There channel, I don't, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, man. What I should have probably done. See, what I thought would happen out of this is that the information that was given to me by Lions Ground would kind of let the out there channel know enough is enough, man. You're out of control. Even he may not think so. That's the weird thing. He five. I don't want to say it's a crock, but it kind of is. I'm sorry. I know Dark Hour is going to get mad at me. Don't be mad. It's just my opinion. Let me ask you guys. Hey, do you guys talk to aliens? Do you? Do you really believe you're talking to aliens? Because I could do it. I could make believe I'm talking to aliens and really make you see it. What? Really? I'll really make you see it. I just said that. Those words came out of these lips, that mouth, those nose. You've got to watch out for these guys. Stan Friedman! <laughs> We've got a caller coming in from Phoenix, Arizona. Art Bell! Oh. <laughs> Never knew that one too far again. And I don't remember why I came. <laughs> Things happen to people over time. And when you have an experience, like I've had experiences, but man, I just want them to be better and bigger. But it makes you wonder if you're going crazy or is this happening to other people? And if it's happening to other people, I want to know how to do it. I want to know how they're talking to aliens. And I just don't get it. It doesn't work for me. I don't think they hate what I'm doing. I think they appreciate it. But Grant Cameron was asked, who are the Guardians? Chris Bledsoe, who we've talked about it all the time, of him a lot lately. Um, Chop it away. Damn it, I never see anything good. <sighs> well, you can't create this shit, Paul. You can't just make up shit and say it's the true without doing real research, which I don't think you have. As a matter of fact, if you had, I would be really surprised how awful you are at debunking these videos. You spend hours on a dot, on a balloon, when all you have to do is say, eh, it's a balloon, and I'll tell you why. Do you know the, the best way to debunk a balloon video? I bet you guys don't know. We'll talk about that in about two minutes, because Goof on University is coming up right after this video. I'm done talking about it with Paul. Just, you know, don't make it personal, Paul. I can be friends with whoever I fucking want. I'm an adult. If I want to be friends with third phase, that's my business. It's not yours. It's my business. They're not hoaxing anything, idiot. Oh, they're paying people to send in their friends. Yeah, 
Third Face has a lot of friends all over the world. That's why they get people sending them videos, you schmuck. Who's sending you anything? What are you actually putting out? What's new from Paul? All Paul does is use other people's shit, like me. Jorge Nunez <laughs> captured something over... Just, it is January 23rd, 2021. What would you do if you noticed that everything you did was wrong? How would you feel? How would you feel that if everything you believed in was an illusion? Everything, you're all chips in. You put your whole life on the line. You bet I'm doing the right thing. And then you realize there really is no thing. It's possible, and I'm not quite sure anymore, but it's possible that everything we talk about on this show is 100% bullshit. I'm beginning to believe it. Oh, no, no, I saw glimpses of this early on. <clears throat> it's just, no, is that, that's not it. Where is it? Where is that SOB? He says you just come across, wait a second, that's not it. Is that it? Ah, you saw it. It doesn't matter. I'm not too good at the Google Earth thing yet. I'll figure it out next year. Next year. Why am I all small with nothing showing on the screen? We don't do that. Just go ahead and clock out. You're useless. And I always said I would never do that. I'll always be 100% honest. And uh, I, uh, I just couldn't lay it out this night. And... Uh, I'm also trying to be open-minded more than usual, and it's it doesn't it's not working because I can't imagine this being a real humanoid. Do maybe it's on his channel. Here we go. But I don't do any research. I'm a shitty researcher because I'm not so. Smart. Oh, your mother! Before we get started, you know, I never made a dollar. In 16 years in ufology, not a penny. Didn't sell a t-shirt. I gave away stuff. CDs, DVD players, you know, things like that. Um, but I never made a dollar until this year. And I didn't make it off of faking anything. That was my, my thing is, I don't need to make money. I, I had a job that was fantastic at the time. So I didn't need to. Right, I didn't need to monetize the channel. 10,000 subscribers at one point with my old channel, I never monetized it. I had the website amongst other things. So, you know, to me, YouTube was something that would never be paying me. But when you get, and there's a reason other channels who are picking on me for making money, it's funny that, I mean, they got nothing to go on other than that. Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers. You can't do it with 450. I had to wait. I had to earn my subscribers too. You know, I, I just didn't uh, turn on a channel and all the friends from one place go to another, which is fine. I don't give a shit, but don't tell me that making money in the field the right way is wrong for ufology because it's not. And I think. As panelists for Third Phase of Moon or even our own channel, bringing up evidence, videos, pictures, stories, whatever, it is the right of any person on this planet to <clears throat> analyze that footage and give their own opinion. I have no problem with that at all. I have no problem with people speaking their mind about me, my friends, my co-panelists, and other channels out there. I was going to say something, and then I just realized I, I got to put the chat room up. <clears throat> um, I can't tell you how many windows I've scratched with my tripod and cameras I've dented because it's on the tripod. Yes, it's difficult. Welcome to the field. And welcome to real life criticism. If you can't handle it, this ain't the place for you, my friend. I don't hate you as a person. I'm disappointed that you would uh, get mad at me this way. And it's not just this time. It's not just this. You think one time is gonna make me upset. It's several times. And, and I don't care if anybody wants to argue with me 
call me out on anything. That's fine. I have no problem with it. But if you expect me to sit here and not say anything, well, I have to. I mean, that's I'm going to defend what I said. That's the way it is. This guy just said in ufology, can you hear Joe right now? Red Rum Mersha? He's sitting there going, this guy's doing Rocky. This guy thinks he's funny. He sucks. That's Joe. Joe's like, I could do better. I mean, this guy's the worst. The worst. But what is he doing? Watching. He's watching. I'll let you know when I'm done with Twitter. All right, I'm done. Let's move on. We're going to move on to something else. I just wanted to show you. We're not going to stay on it. I know. I Maybe I'll come back to it. Well, there is some interesting things that I find, I'm, I'm finding out. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, not now, but you know, what are you gonna do? They, uh, they're, they're just weird. I think it's weird. Everything I do is here on the show. I don't uh, go out and put memes of people. Like, I'm a virgin. God, I would love to be a virgin. To not know what it would be like. Oh, that's all I would think about. Oh, I wonder what it's like. Can you imagine at 52 years old, all the porn I would have watched at this point? <laughs> he's talking about sex on his show. Oh my God, it's trash. Oh, he shouldn't be talking about this. And why does he keep talking about his life? Nobody cares. He's thinking about is um, obviously... Uh, and the reason he's not telling you the reason why I was talking about the big weather balloons, because the huge weather balloons can get to 20,000 feet where the supposed UFO we were talking about was seen. That's why these will not go 20,000 feet. That may go eight to 10. I'm not even going to look up weather balloons. I know I'm right. You know it. He knows it just to go 20 to 35,000 feet. That has to be one big matzo ball of a balloon. Pussy. So a video, which I think you mentioned that in uh, the last stream where he says it's uh, balloons. Right. Yeah, but mylar balloons. Weather balloons, yeah. Well, I think this was around 20,000 feet. Mylar balloons don't go past usually around 3,500 feet, just regular balloons. So you'd have to have a really huge balloon to get that altitude all the way up. That's why those weather balloons are huge. The 1%. They can rise to an altitude of up to 10 kilometers before it bursts into tiny fragments. And Boy, isn't that funny? That's what I said. And I was told I was wrong. Remember? The Out There Channel said I said between five and 10,000 feet. Yeah. I mean, mile, five, <laughs> five to 10 miles. I said they could go up as high as that. And then oh, they could go way higher. Not these balloons. Just back down to Earth. is reflecting off of it and it looks very balloonish you know my thing is i need to know how high that that airplane is with the balloon yes. because these balloons they may go anywhere between depending on the size three to six thousand seven thousand feet and it looks like they're i can't tell you can't about maybe eight ten thousand feet what do you think mm -hmm. on that I mean, it could be as high as 10,000. It's really hard to gauge. Oh. It's said. That's not. I said regular balloons like party balloons. And he's trying to twist my words. Feet there. And uh, I said 35,000 feet, not 3,500 dick for brains. You need to understand what's being said here. 
Ah. Uh, Mylar balloons. Weather balloons, yeah. See? Well, I think this was around 20,000 feet. Weather balloons, Mylar yeah. Mylar balloons don't go past usually around 3,500 feet. Just regular balloons. Oh, I'm the dickhead. Wait. Oh, I thought this said 35,000. I'm not even listening to myself. I'm so mad. So you'd have to have a So I'm really the shit for brains. <laughs> I'm shit right, for so brains. Straight away, he said, Mylar balloons don't go <laughs> typically over 3,500 Right, feet. and that's true. Party balloons. I've done the tests. You get regular Mylar party balloons. They don't go over 3,500 to 5,000 feet. They just don't. They don't. They're too small. They get cold. The helium doesn't work the same. I don't know. Whatever it is, they don't go that high. They just don't. The bigger mylar balloons, yeah. You want to get into nylon. I think they use nylon or some sort of Kevlar balloon material for weather balloons. Those are, what, 100 feet? Just to get all the way up in the uh, stratosphere. It, it's, uh, I can't believe I said 35,000. I mean, uh, I thought I said 35,000. What an idiot. Um, but that is true. It was in the same area, in the same spot. But the evidence shows otherwise. Actually, let me tell you what it does. It doesn't back up what you're saying. That's all. There's nothing wrong with it. Other than that it looks like balloons. All right? It's not easy to record this shit. I mean, why is he telling me it's not easy? I've got 950 million hours behind the camera. Nobody knows more than me about this. There's nobody, maybe Jeff Willis, and maybe a few people I haven't heard of that have been recording since video cameras came out, like Jeff. But other than that, there's not a lot of people out there who can rival my intelligence when it comes to this stuff. I know that sounds like I'm putting myself up on the soapbox, but it's freaking true. All right, end of story. Tell me when I'm wrong. Never been. It's not simple. And when it doesn't make sense, somebody's lying, and I found out MUFON was. Brando. Who do you think you are, Marlon's son? Marlon Brando's son? Jagovs. All right, we're going to go check that check out Jerkoff here. I want to see what he's what he's about. Let's go see what Jerkoff's doing. I can't stand lie. I mean, that is such a bold-faced lie. The only thing that object looks like to me, to be honest, is a Tic Tac. Oh, I should show you. Let me show you this. Hold on. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. This is Goof on Radio Stream. That, you know, it's blinding their eyes and they're trying to cover their eyes. If you guys remember those, those kind of looked real, but almost like mannequin ish, mannequin esque, I guess. Uh, dummies. But um, this one. I was going to say, uh, it, I was going to say dummies like Jaime Mosan. I go, dummies. You could even hear me say, dummy. You say, dummy. Remember those. Those kind of looked real. Oh, well, man, never mind. But almost oh, yeah. like mannequin ish, mannequin esque, Listen. I guess. Uh, dummies. Dummies. But, uh, I <laughs> stupid. This one it is take. It's a photograph taken by a police officer, a trained observer. Maybe not of aliens and UFOs, but he can definitely, you know describe what he saw better than most people. He knows how to observe something. And he saw this thing, this police officer, not a citizen, not ever, but it even looks like it has a little hub, like a top to it almost. So I don't know. I think we can get a much better photo nowadays. Photo of Phobos? We should redo that. That stuff needs, needs to be redone. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting find. It's pretty amazing. Oh, wait, there's something else here. Hold on. What is he doing now? Oh, is this another one or another photo? Here, check this out. ...as Prime, fully known as Phobos Reconnaissance and International Mars Exploration. 
The what? proposed mission would see a lander touch down on the surface of the lonely moon to take samples of the moon's geology. Wait, I thought there was another Current one. What's this? The discovery of the Mars monolith came from the same stream of images taken by the Mars... Okay, pretty cool. That's pretty freaking wild. It almost looks like a tombstone. Oh, I figured it out. I know what it is. It's a tombstone for a giant Martian. It's pretty wild. I don't know, man. It looks like the earth is disturbed around it. You know, like something came in here and either built it or you can see it's not. I mean, if that's 300 feet tall, that's that's unbelievable. That's the size of a football field. OK, just to give me the best UFO footage we've seen in a very long time. Wait until we get to the craft. I know I was uh, over exuberant about the, the schematics and everything about the triangular craft. We're getting to it right now. As a matter of fact, it's coming up. Here we go. Let's bring back Rich from Goof On. Hey. another report that he wants to share with everybody in regards to some kind of... It's right here. Capiche? Hey, it's a one Capiche show. Here we go. I know. I'm all over the place. It's all right. Saturday. Relax. We're going to go a little longer probably tonight. Looking at... What did he just ask? Are you kidding me? This. That is it. That is this. Holy shit. That is crazy. You can even see right here. Well, it looks like this part right here. And then whatever outcrops here comes up there. And then this goes up there. That's, that's, that's it. And look at the back it comes to a point. This thing, I don't know how the hell it's flying or what direction, but I would imagine the point would, well, it is going that way. It's going forward. Yeah. It's going this way while the jets go this way. So the UFO goes from right to left. Jets go from left to right. And that's why the point is forward this way. This is behind it. This is definitely to me. Pretty, 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 pretty close match. Gideon. Is this simply going to be dismissed? That's as some amazing. Kind of blip, or is this some kind of extraterrestrial craft that we're not aware of, or a secret space force asset? We're looking at the footage right now, and I want to get your thoughts. I like your style, like this footage. Again, we're going to be analyzing it. We're going to get a closer look. By the way, this footage was used in Countdown to Disclosure, which you can still rent. Take a look at some cool tech that might be coming your way. Hey. Not only we do UFOs, the paranormal, ghosts, and uh, channeling, and things of that nature, we do it all here. We're not experts. The only thing I'm an expert on is balloons. That's it. Right. You know, we give us, uh, we give you our opinion on what we think they are. And again, I don't think we get it right. Hardly any of the time, we we admit that we're not UFO experts. We're just giving you the evidence as fast as possible. And that's what Third Phase of Moon is going to continue to do. Uh, again, an incredible night tonight. What you're using, and I don't even know what the rest of these program, what the rest of this program has. I barely touched the surface. Um, but you guys have really helped me out. And I know you're going to help um, anybody else who wants to learn how to do this, too. That's on the panel, the team panel. Oh, man. So that's what I want. I want the team to participate in editing, bring us the stories. We'll put it up and create like a network that you would see on cable television, like Fox and CNN, where they have the lineup and everybody's up. We got uh, Mr. Nighttime Goof on at this slot. And then we got <laughs> Dark Hour Paranormal on this slot. And then Doc Skinner on this slot, Dr. J. And the list goes on. And yeah. it'd be, that'd be amazing if we could do this on a daily basis with a kind of a slot of these news anchors. But as I say, we're just team members, right, Rich? Everybody's calling yeah. us like the so-called experts or the self-proclaimed experts. Have we ever said any of our team are experts? Not, <laughs> not even close. I mean, I think sometimes we say we're not experts, you know, just to remind people because we know there's backlash on that from the beginning look at these experts they know it all yes. is there any expert in no. in the ufo world there isn't they they, oh, are they a mechanic did they build a flying saucer or are they you know diagnostics uh, technicians on flying saucers <laughs> that's funny that's a good segue because <laughs> because in that isn't that on one of the maps you just dropped that story about these underground tunnels that that were used maybe for alien um, whatever and yep. wasn't it the Diagnostic Laboratory or something like that? One of yeah, the United States research, uh, the United States Alien Research Diagnostic Facility. Now, if anybody worked at the 29 Palms uh, base in regards to this map, and if it is indeed an alien research diagnostics facility, now those people might be UFO experts. Yeah, because they would have worked hand, they would have got their hands on it. Of course, that's the only way you can be is if you have the actual thing to measure it and understand it. I mean, we're all speculating pretty much. Thing, this whole thing about the threat, the TV show, it's all a lie. It's all bullshit. Everything about it. That's why they're not showing us real UFOs. They never have. Those three videos, listen to me, those three videos were nothing. Okay? I don't care if the Navy came out three years later and said, yeah, 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 those are real UFOs. We don't give a shit because they don't look like anything. They're blurry and you know it. And then you do the TV show and try to bring in legitimate evidence and it's blurry. Guys, are you falling for the bullshit? Really? Come on, man. Come on, man. You know where I'm going. Is it time? Uh, that shit doesn't go here. I hate to ban people. Now, I saw something on this. 
This thing actually wobbles back and forth. I, I didn't notice it when I initially made my review of it, but it does uh, kind of rock back and forth. It's some sort of balloon, I think. Um, it's interesting, though. We, I guess the Out There channel did some good today because he was trying to find a way to debunk this with cross-shaped balloons and all sorts of things. He couldn't find it. But you saw that, right? You saw what I just did. I went like this. And they're not even real. And it felt like I felt it. I can't wait to watch that back. That was a trip. I went like this as if I felt my real teeth get something in it, and it was the dog's hair. Oh, shit, that's weird. Tell me I'm not surrounded by Angus and ghosts. And, oh, come on, man. I know it. That's creepy. The hell? My dog's hair was in my mouth. There shouldn't be any dog's hair in my mouth. That's dog hair. It's white. And it's thick. And it's his hair. It was in my mouth, man. Oh, that's so bizarre. You saw that, right? You saw what I just did. I went like this. And they're not even real. And it felt like I felt it. Fuck off! So sick of it. <laughs> I hate them. I might get a knock on my door because during this show, if that banging continues, I'm grabbing the mop handle and I'm pushing it up against that ceiling. A little punk ass bitch up there. I'm surrounded by them. Maybe it's me. It's me. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. They were arguing up there with the kid. Remember? Oh, I didn't even play it for you. I have an audio clip of this, uh, my neighbor beating her kid. I didn't call the cops because kid deserved it. Oh, this kid's a bastard. He is such a dick. One of those entitled kids who doesn't think he needs to do shit with himself. And he constantly is swearing at his mother. They, they want to censor me. Rich Giordano cannot... I wish Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube would censor things he says, is what Joe Merger said. It's not what I do. And I noticed that the people don't like me are the people who are from that side. I see a lot of colors going on. What's, what's going on over here on the, the chat? My God, apparently I was always there. My name apparently was always there. How could I make such a mistake when I read the whole article? I didn't skip over a damn thing. I saw John Greenwald did not see my name anywhere. So I'm going to go by the fact that this person was real adamant that I was definitely in the article. That's why they sent it to me because they wanted me to see that Dave put me in that, not the top 10, but as an honorable mention, because you could only fit 10 in a 10. And I, and I didn't say anything that was over the top, but it was just enough. It would make me mad. Like don't, because I, I thought I wasn't in there and I thought he was just trying to put me on there to shut me up. And he, maybe that's why he thought, which it isn't true that that's why I was mad about his list because I wasn't in it. It's not true at all. That never happened. That was all my, me getting triggered and something didn't see my name there. And I think that's awfully weird. Matter of fact, I even think I read it twice. You know, you go through it fast. Stuff. That's what they want. That's what they want. This is your far left. Censor what the other people are saying. Censor them. Shut them up. They are not allowed to speak. They cannot have an opinion that's different than mine. They cannot think that TTSA is not doing any good. They cannot have that opinion of Lou Elizondo, Christopher Mellon, and Steve Justice. Who are they to have a brain? Who gave them the right?
The First Amendment gave me the right, dick. And here, yeah, that's right. I'm calling you a name. You're calling me an idiot. You're saying that I shouldn't have a voice. I should be censored. Why should I be censored? But did that hurt? Did you feel those words, Joe? Did that hurt you? Grow up, man. And you guys are babies. Just pure ba I know. I thought, and I asked people, am I the baby? What did I do wrong? I did not. I did nothing wrong. And I'm not in denial. It goes back from me going on Twitter, voicing my opinion about TTSA, and they didn't like it. No. That's bullshit. I've been in this too long. You just came out of the closet, so to speak. No, not going to do that to me. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do a gosh darn thing wrong. Not a thing. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to go into, let's see, let's see how much of a dick I really was. Let's see if I really was a dick. Let's see. I want to see if I was a dick. I'm going to go to Dark Hours Show. Is that okay? Yes. So I'm going to go there. And uh, I'm a dick. I'm Thank you.